I've been hearing this a lot lately. I don't agree with that. You sit on a throne of lies. That's now, women in their 60s and yes, 70s. <laughs> people in their 60s and 70s. Yeah, that's yes. 60s and 70s. But these younger women? Yeah, heck they, no. Nah. Hell no. Complete the lie. Couch. And you tell lies. Bruh. Welcome to the JNO show. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> you have changed for a 50. That's how you look just now. <laughs> Rewind. Okay. Welcome to the JNO show. Where we talk about things that we were never told on J. And I'm O. And now you know. What it do, y'all? What's good? Welcome back. We in the building. All right, so today, guys, we're going to be reacting to Shisha Z. Did I say his name uh, right? I think I think you got it. You got close. Finally, kind of, sort of. Yeah, sort of right now. Right <laughs> Shout now. out to him and the coffee pot. <laughs> yeah. We are doing women divorce to find themselves, and men are the real problem. <laughs> Lord. This is going to be interesting. Oh, boy. So you probably noticed a lot of people in their 30s getting divorced lately, so let's talk about it. Now, a majority of my clients, yes, are women. What a surprise. <laughs> But I will say this, they are very consistent across the board as to why they are getting a divorce. And I pretty much have a theory to what has caused this to happen in such big numbers to mm -hmm. people 30s and up. Growing up, we were told as women to sit down and be quiet, do what the man says. And we were really just told that, oh, marriage is hard, suck it up. Men were told, don't talk about your feelings, they don't matter, go to work and come home and provide. That's what you need to do. I'm just gonna pause for a second. I've been hearing this a lot lately. I don't agree with that. You sit on a throne of lies. Ah! With what? I don't agree that women in their 30s, women in their 40s, I don't feel as though they were told that you have to just sit down and be quiet. I agree. No, I, that, that's that's now, women in their 60s and yes, 70s. People in their 60s and 70s. Yeah, that's yes. 60s and 70s. But these younger women? Yeah, heck they, no. Nah, hell no. That is not the that's conversation. That's independent that woman right there. Yes. That's, so that right there is Cap. That's I, Neo. This is independent. I love me so Neo. That's, um, that's him. <laughs> that's Beyonce, independent woman. Yeah. That's yeah. That's a whole. It's a yeah. completely different yeah. environment. That, that is a complete the lie. Catch. And you tell lies. Bruh. That's the catch. not true. The catch. Now, as far as the whole marriage is hard, yes, yeah. that I think is pretty consistent. But that's because it's true. Ain't that right? He ain't lying. That's right. Yeah. Cause, so, because <laughs> marriage be hard. I'm Shout saying. out to that podcast. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Push play. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, honest conversation. This is one of those videos we're just having a conversation in the comment section down below. Were women really told to sit down and be quiet and listen to men? Because because is that, is that what we see happening, right? Because at least if they were told that, can we see a little? Can we see a little bit of that? <laughs> I'm joking, but for real, man, were the generation of women who are initiating divorce really told that, or were they told to be strong, independent, etc., and weren't really told to cooperate with the man? Let's keep listening. So what this created was a lot of women, 30s and up who don't even have an identity because they don't know who they are other than being a mom and a wife. Mm. And they were really told not to even be themselves. I will say, I think that that piece is true, that the women don't know who they are. But I feel as though they watch different things as far as like how life should be, mm -hmm. like how a wife should be. Hmm. how things should be. Nobody really talked about as a woman, how are you supposed to figure out your purpose? Like hmm. the purpose conversation wasn't something that was being had hmm. at all Bruh. when I grew up or when we grew up, that definitely wasn't something that happened. I feel like that's only something that you're hearing more so about now, yep. but that's not something that was heard in the past. So I, I do feel that that piece is true, hmm. that women, they didn't really know how to identify themselves other than the things that they saw on, you know, on television hmm. or maybe in their own homes. Like, a wife and a mother so they do have to try to figure out how to find themselves that part i do okay i do agree with themselves to be all these other identities that people wanted them to be including their husband and then it created a lot of men who are completely incapable of having a mature conversation or communicating correctly because they don't know how to process their emotions or even talk about them so they just hold them in and it comes out in anger and they end up gaslighting you okay chisha why do you keep pausing the video because she's not going to get away with this She's not going to get away with what she just did right there. Notice how she just painted women as being 
victims. You know, they, 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 they're not the problem. They're just these women who don't know who they are. That's their problem. They need to go find themselves. These women don't know who they are. That's why they're leaving marriages. But men, ah, uh, they're immature. Don't know how to carry good uh, uh, communication. <laughs> oh man, right? But the women are always just never painted in a bad or light in this type of situations. Let's keep listening. So take these women who were told to sit down, shut up, and serve their husbands, and that's what they're supposed to do, and. <laughs> Take them finding their true self and identity in their 30s and their voice and their confidence yeah. and add that to men who are still the same, the men in these situations that are still the same, and it's a recipe for disaster. You have one person changing and growing and you have somebody else who is still unwilling to admit they need to change and grow. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm tired of this video already. I'm tired of this video already. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, like, yeah. No, sis. I'm sorry. I can't. Certain aspects, yes. But, no. I feel like the whole thing as far as, like, men being mature and things of that nature, that's not new, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And this is no shade or trying to say towards men. It's a known fact that men do mature on a different speed than women. Women tend to mature faster. And we've talked about this before. And, mm -hmm. and I think there's a biological reason as to why we do. Mm -hmm. And it's because of our fertility. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to mature to make certain decisions faster because we have a biological clock. Got to get the nonsense out the way mm -hmm. so that way we can procreate. Right. Whereas men don't have that biological clock. But that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I can't rock with that excuse that is just like, oh, men, they're just immature. It's that and the third. It's just like, I feel like when we start Stop just trying to cast blame on one another and just taking a look in the mirror to like really talk about and see like our own issues. Mm. Don't look for the for speck the, in somebody else's the, eye when, when you, you got, got the a whole bean. tree. Yeah. Yeah, the whole tree basically yeah. in your eye. Like, let's just stop. Yeah. Just stop it. Stop it. Like, no, we all have issues in different areas. Like, I don't think it's fair to just try to blame men for all of the issues that we are having in our society today. Both sides have blame to be placed individually we need to take a hard look at ourselves in the mirror and figure out who we are what are the things that we really want be realistic about those things mm -hmm. and think about okay if this is what i want then like realistically how can this be achieved can it be achieved mm -hmm. you know with the things that i want is it realistically something that i want there are certain things that she said that definitely are true but then she mixed it with some things that were definitely not true and mm -hmm. it made everything go left men were definitely and are still definitely being taught nowadays like it doesn't matter what you think <laughs> get in there provide for your family for your woman for your wife mm -hmm. and be a good dad hey son there's that part of it. And I definitely think that men are now communicating better than they have been. I think my generation might have been one of the first generations mm -hmm. that really started to excel more and being able to communicate about how they feel about things and how they think. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys that are my age are much better with that. I do think that there is a limit. There's a point to which you can do it and you can still be you and your wife be cool. And she's like, yeah, he share. We talk and I like what he thinks. And then mm -hmm. there's a point at which you'd be like that Bruh. crying. I'm tired of him ah. you know he's always complaining he over there he over there in the corner crying right now <laughs> like, there's a point at which it just becomes too much mm -hmm. right ladies the reason that men don't communicate as well there are some biological reasons as far as like how many words men use on a daily basis how many words women use on a daily basis in women there are actually chemicals released in the brain when they have positive interactions with people so there are certain things biologically that make women who they are in terms of society and make men who they are we have different roles and i think we have to stop trying to compare and be the same because we're not men if if they grow up around a bunch of men are not going to say as many words as you are, sis. We not because men don't communicate like women communicate. Right. We communicate under different rules. And that's why when there's cross and women try to be masculine like men, it's never a fair thing because we can't communicate like with y'all like we do with each other. So, you know, there's just a lot there. I do think that men used to have to be a little better with communicating. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they're necessarily in a bad space. I think the issue that women are having now is they're not liking what the men are saying. Ooh.
Agreed. Because they're telling you exactly how they feel and you don't like what it feel like. I don't like where this is going. And to be honest, men do not have the time to communicate like women do. Ain't nobody got time for that. We don't even make the time because the burden of being the leader, because the burden of being the provider, because the burden of doing all of these things in your family sits on your shoulders. Your mind is always on that. I don't have time to sit and have this five hour conversation with you or chill and have girl talk like we we don't move like that because mm -hmm. our mind is always on. We got to get out there and we got to get that money or we got to get out there and we got to work. We got to provide. I'm telling y'all, man, for those of y'all who don't like Gia, take some of that off your plate. Brother. <laughs> it's good to have, be like, well, you know, the Lord will provide. Ooh, that's a little bit of weight off your shoulders now, y'all. Mm -hmm. That word, because the Lord mm. said that he will be your provider. And that that helps. Yes, he gives you instruction. You're supposed to work now. Yeah, you are supposed to work it. Work it. Ah! But he said that he is your provider. So all the puffing up your chest, oh, I did this and I did that. Yeah. I think that's why he said that. Yeah. That's probably cause, exactly cause, why. Because he know how we are. He know how we are. Bruh. He know we ain't right. Yeah. Yeah, so he like, no, you calm down. <laughs> Go work like I told you to. Come down, come down. Come down, come down. And I got this. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. So it's just a lot, but she was just all over the place. Yeah. I don't understand I the what idea. She does. Like, what do you, yeah, I was like, is she a therapist? Is she a hairdresser? Is she a, a realtor? Like, what? Well, I don't know what she is. You know what really bothers me? What? And not specifically her, mm -hmm. but I'm saying this because of some comments that I read on our posts on IG, on a video that. That we oh, posted. Okay. Somebody in the comment section was a therapist, I believe, or, okay. or a counselor, okay. right? And the clip was on a video we did a little while back where the lady was saying, it's okay for you to divorce your husband, even if he's a good man. No. There doesn't have to be anything wrong, wrong with, with you your relationship. A yeah. Wrong with your relationship. If you want to get a divorce, you can just get a divorce, long, right? As long as it makes you happy. As long as it makes you happy. Right. And so basically she stated she was a counselor or a therapist or something like that or what have you Bruh. and proceeded to talk about that so many of her clients or women or whatever that she talks to they all basically come in saying the same thing and yes you can leave or you can get a divorce if it doesn't make you happy and the issue that I had with that is I think perpetuating that oh, narrative perpetuating per perpetuating y'all don't understand what I'm trying yeah. to say <laughs> uh, I think doing that is very dangerous hmm. I think that the conversation needs to be more around why are you not happy like let's deal with that let's look at what's going going on with you individually and talk about things that we need to do to ensure that we are a whole person or happy before we say I do. Because when you tell someone, yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. if the person is a good person or not. If you don't feel like it anymore, you could just divorce them. That's dangerous. It's like, what's the point of you getting married? Stay single and continue to date yep. right. because your word means nothing. Right. We've said this before. When you make a vow, back in the day, we used to say, yo, man, word, word is bond yep. because your word was your bond. Yeah. Like you were bound by your word. You were bound by your word. That shows a certain level of character and respect. People can trust you. The reason why we having all these issues in the dating market is because y'all can't trust nobody mm -hmm. because nobody's word is their bond. Mm -hmm. It's like they can do whatever they want to do just because they, they feel, feel like, like it. it. Yep. And marriage is deeper than that. It makes me cringe. People that are in that position would further push that. And mm -hmm. they're just like, yeah, well, if you're not happy, it's okay. Just get a divorce. What the f All right. So that's, it's, that's bad. It's two things. Divorce to be happy. Divorce to find yourself. We're just building a list here of things that I think personally are retarded reasons to get divorced. Okay. So your husband or your wife is not Superman or Superwoman. They're a regular person. They're human. No matter how amazing they are to you. They're a regular person. What other relationship do you have in your life where you place the burden on the people that you love that they have to make you happy? Do you place that burden on your kids? No. Do you place that burden on your parents? Nope. Do you place that burden on your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, Bruh. your friends at work? Do they have to make you happy? Why is it that we only place that burden on our husband or our wife? Don't. This is why the red pill people be talking about the Disney fantasy, because we believe that our husband and our wife is the one person in our life that is charged with making us happy. 
It is not their responsibility. Nope. They can add to. Absolutely. But they are not responsible for. Mm -hmm. It is not their responsibility. You also got to check now. I'm going to come to the other side. You got to check that they not bringing you down. That part. That part. Yes. You shouldn't even get married to somebody who's bringing you down. You shouldn't Hello. even date somebody who's bringing you no, down. You shouldn't. So there's that. Do your work. Do your right. homework. You, that's one of the things you have to be worried about. Everybody's more worried about what you're going to be making <laughs> while we marry. You need to be checking. Do we have the type of relationship where I'll be feeling good and you constantly make me feel worse. Mm. You constantly give me drama yeah. and issues. I'll be having a great day and every time I have a great day, when I come see you, it's worse. Ooh. That is what you need to be checking for. That's some serious red flags. You know, so that's one of the things that you got to be watching for. I had something else, but I forgot it and the time is going long. So I'm not even going to get into that other thing, but we got to stop putting so much pressure on people and yeah, like to divorce, to find, you can find yourself and still be married. Well, Ugh. If you have a kid, you got to take care of them anyway. So that's going to be there no matter what. Right. Talk to your mate and be like, yo, I feel like I don't know who I am. I feel like I lost a part of myself that yeah. I crafted my identity around. And we also we are also afraid to grow. Yeah. People are typically afraid of change. Right. But change is inevitable. Yes. And it's just like you can't avoid it. You can't run from it. It's going to happen regardless of whether yeah. or not you want it to. Oh, oh in case so y'all didn't know. Embrace it. In case y'all didn't know, just to add to what she's saying. Mm -hmm. When you get married, you're going to change. Yep. Absolutely. When you have kids, <laughs> you're going to change. Absolutely. And if you decide to do both of them, you are not going to be the same person ever again. Nope. Just so that, just so that y'all. Oh, my second point. Why is marriage the only institution when the people that we get advice from don't have to be successful at the thing we want to be successful Ooh, at? Damn. Yes. Literally everything else, yes. we have, the person has to be successful to give us any credit. And as a matter of fact, if the person is successful at it, they don't have to be educated at it. These are thoughts. These are things that make you say... Literally the only thing that a person does not have to be successful at mm -hmm. and will take advice from them is marriage. Yeah. Literally the only thing. Everything else, if you've done it, I'm going to listen to you. If you made a million dollars, I'm going to listen to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to listen to the person who went and took finances in school and has a degree. You can have a master's degree in finance, but if you broke... I'm not listening to you. I am not listening to you. Yep. You want to listen to people that are showing you results. If you go to a psychiatrist and they have their master, they have a doctorate in psychology and they killed it in school. They got straight A's, but they crazy. Or their home life is jacked up. Why would you listen to them? Be careful who y'all listening to you. But when it comes to <laughs> marriage, you don't have to be married. We're just going to listen to you. Mm-hmm. We are so backwards, and then we wonder why the marriage rate is so, well, the divorce rate is so high. No! Why the reasons that they're getting divorced are so retarded? Because we listening to retarded people and expecting better circumstances just because they speak a certain way. Or just because they got degrees. But this is the only thing. If you, anything else that's important. No! We, yeah. I know, I, I'm just so confused. Yeah, I, I'm okay. done. We gotta. I'm finished. <sighs> I'm finished. I'm done. You can you can end the video. I can't even talk no more. This is Comment down below and let us know your thoughts. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be on camera anymore. Get my show down the shot. This, this is retarded. Go ahead, finish it. Comment down below and let us know your thoughts on this topic. Do you agree or disagree that you should listen to someone who has no proof or experience in the area of relationship or marriage that you're trying to gain? Like, what do you guys think about that? Let us know your thoughts. They've been getting on pro about that recently. They've been killing her. Yeah, well. But not, they don't listen to people who are successful in marriage, though. They, yeah. Everybody. Peace, y'all. It's crazy. <laughs> we crazy. Ah, press the health button. <laughs>